So the media has been forced to apologize to J.D. after spreading flagrant, I am talking about flagrant disinformation. You can tell from some of the updates from places like We Got This Covered or the New York Post that they're not happy about having to do this either. But you know what? They deserve to be put on blast. They deserve to be mocked and ridiculed because they not only went out and got something terribly wrong, they utilized that as a catalyst to attack someone and try to cost them more of their career. And what's even more egregious about this and definitely definitely needs to be called out is the faking of sources. You can see this from the New York Post. If you look at this here, according to, and they have Box Office Mojo listed, this isn't a place that makes articles. This is a place that tracks box office. If you look through this, though, there is no number that comes in at 15,000, hence they faked a source. They lied about it. Now, if they're going to lie about something like this, what else have they lied about for the last four years? What have they talked about from that nameless party? What has cost somebody reputation, occupation, that they didn't fact check at best, or they just utterly made up? Oh, man, I do not like the media mainstream, or otherwise you cannot trust them. You cannot trust them at all. So, hey there, by the way, if you would to spread this, I'm talking about spread it far and wide. Make sure to like, comment, feed that algorithm too. Get this out there. Why? Because this, it showcases exactly what the media does. See, yesterday, stories like this started breaking. Johnny Depp's new movie, Bombs, earned less than $15,000 at the box office. Johnny Depp's new movie is a flop. I mean, over and over again, tearing the movie and the person down. Now, the problem with these articles, and you should look them up, by the way. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of them. Look them up, name and shame, call these people out. But the problem with them is they're not mistruth. They're lies, bold-faced lies. See, we're not talking about misinformation or getting something wrong. We're talking about disinformation. And again, remember, this disinformation is aimed at destroying someone's reputation and career. This, it gets called out, and ooh, it gets wrecked. I mean, absolutely wrecked. Oh, yeah, this is good stuff here. Thanks to the original poster of this, by the way, I left their name in here to give you props. So, let me read this to you. With the beer bug raging out of control, many of our distribution partners have elected to push the release of Minamata a bit later in the year when cinemas are more likely to be open. While I am deeply disappointed that the countless patients, victims, voiceless and victimized by the industrial pollution and corporate malfeasance will not receive the support or microphone they need as quickly as possible. I support our partner's assessment and strategy in maximizing the message and reach of our film. I thank you all for your incredible support and excitement thus far and respectfully ask for your patience. We will update you on the release dates on a territory-by-territory basis in the coming days, so watch this space and fear not, Minimata will be with you soon. Now, that first tweet should have told the media either they weren't getting it right or they should have gone in and double-checked it. I mean, after all, all you have to do is go to a place like Box Office Mojo, look through domestics, and you'll notice something very interesting. You'll notice that there's no movie that pops up between number 20 or number 21 or in an area around $15,000. So, no movie earning fifteen grand. Yeah, that might make you question it. Also, if you're thinking international release, well, boom, it's not in the international releases either. So again, something had to be wrong, and hey, anybody with five seconds on their hand, they should have caught that. See, unlike the media, that's exactly what I did, and I'm not saying I don't get things wrong from time to time, but you know what? I try to research, and you could tell they didn't. I went looking for tickets, couldn't find any, went looking for box office numbers, couldn't find any, and then I saw this beautiful, beautiful, ownage of We Got This Covered, one of the places that put this story out there and is going to be forced to apologize. So you have a question here. Quick heads up, I'm not in the U.S., so I'm not sure whether or not it's out yet over there, but if it isn't, judging from your post here, someone should consider a career in fiction. And you notice this is We Got This Covered. The answer, Minimata doesn't come out in theaters until later this year. This is just made up by some lazy 
lazy, low-level writer filling up space without fact-checking. Now, a funny thing happens. After that call-out, you have your original article. It turns into something with an update. But this update here, it still utilizes the skeletal of the old article. And yeah, it's pretty insulting when you go over it. So here's the update. The studio has informed us that despite the release date being listed as February 5th on IMDb, Box Office Mojo, Wikipedia, and Rotten Tomatoes at the time of writing, Minimata did not end up releasing last week and has, in fact, been delayed until later this year. Hence why it didn't show up in the box office charts. So where did you get $15,000 from? That, that's the million dollar question. The article below has been rewritten to reflect this at the request of the studio. (laughs) Yeah. Now what's telling about this article, by the way, and we got this covered, is it keeps the negativity toward Johnny Depp's supporters to supporters for due process by keeping this first paragraph intact. You can see this. This is the updated version. This is the older version. Like I said, it's the exact same paragraph. And let's read it here. We'll read it from the new version, too. You can't say that Johnny Depp's army of fans don't have his back as they continue with their unwavering support for the fallen star, although they've sometimes veered a little too far into fanatical territory. So still, you keep this insult here. There's no basis for it whatsoever because the movie didn't come out. But hey, got to get that shot in because you got called out by those folks. Oh, it must sting a lot. Like I said, salty. A petition to force the creators behind the Animaniacs revival to apologize for an outdated joke based on a meme failed miserably while they wrongfully blasted Netflix under the impression that the streaming service were erasing any trace of his existence from the content library. Now, if you think that's bad, by the way, at least we got this covered, went in and rewrote some things. You have the New York Post has the audacity to use an update. They take shots with that update. They don't take any credit for what they've done. And they leave the title the same. So, if somebody goes out, they want to find out about this movie. They would think that, number one, it's already been released. Number two, that it failed. They have to click in to see this. But read this with me here. Update. A studio rep has confirmed that rampant online reports are inaccurate. Minimata was not released this past weekend. MGM has postponed the release due to the beer bug. And no new date has been set. The film's publicist told the Post. MGM confirmed, adding, the film is currently unset for 2021. When we have additional information on the U.S. release date, we will let you know. Now, what is absolutely infuriating about this and deserves to be called out is the fact that they don't shoulder any responsibility whatsoever for their actions. They blame it on others. Rampant online reports are accurate. It doesn't say we're inaccurate. We fake sources. Oh, no. Rampant online reports are inaccurate. This, it's a hit piece, too. You can see that right off the bat. JD's box office claim has allegedly joined his recent critical disdain. Critical disdain? How is that? Oh, JD destroys what's left of his reputation. So says the New York Post. This is sourced to themselves. Then, if you go through this, like I was saying at the beginning, they faked sources to try to prove their point. You see them linked to Box Office Mojo. Box Office Mojo isn't someone that is making online reports that are inaccurate. They're a place that tracks numbers. That's all they do. All you have to do is click into this thing, scroll down to where that should be, and boom, you know exactly what transpired. They're telling you that they did that. You can see the sourcing here. They have Box Office Mojo. That's the direct link to it. And Screen Rant. One of these is an article. One of those is a tracker. And look, this is part of their hit piece design. While the 57-year-old could previously rake in more than $10 million for a single scene, Failing to rank in the box office top 18 over three-day weekend appeared to suggest that the film brought in less than $15,000, according to IMDb Pro, Box Office Mojo, and Screen Rant. So yeah, like I said, faked a source telling you that they checked that out. 
Oh, they deserve to be called out. They deserve to be put on blast. I mean, this this is not acceptable in the least. Speaking of Screen Rant, by the way, this is their article. And you know what? They haven't updated this at all. They've let their hit piece stand. J.D.'s fall from grace is confirmed. Confirmed in Minimata's release. Confirmed. I mean, like I said, they let it stand. And the damage here is the fact that many people, they won't look this up and try to find out about it. They'll take this as the gospel truth. They'll think the movie failed, so they won't go and see it because they'll think it's bad. They'll also allow the reputation, occupational damage to be done. Yeah, it shows you exactly what you're dealing with. Then again, by now you should probably already know what you're dealing with. You've seen what the said over the last few years, and when that information came out about charitable donations, you know that a certain nameless party didn't give $3.5 million. Many of them, they wouldn't go in and they wouldn't say anything about it at all. Why? Because they had already tried to circle that wagon, and you know what? Believe all hashtags, even if it's a lie. Even if it's a lie, indeed. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, I appreciate you. You make this stuff happen. Thank you. Spread this, too, if you would. Ooh, I really love sticking it to the media, so make sure that you spread it. And if you want to help out the channel, check out our comic book. It ends after this weekend. So, we're talking about going to press then. So, if you want to help out, you want to back the channel that way, please do. But, as always, you being here, that helps. Thank you. I appreciate the heck out of you, and we will see you soon.